Gonna give it to you the way you need it. You know you want it. What the hell song? What what the hell song is that? That's the song I just sang in your face. That was terrible. You're you're terrible. You like my Dungeon Dragon shirt? No. What are you talking oh, I about? Got on, oh, I got a WoW shirt on. WoW is gay. Should we hit the button? Let's do it. Should we totally just like click? Let's make it live. There you go. Holy we, crap. Are people already on the message board? People are already on the message board. But Holy really, crap. It's but, just Thunder and Waffle Man. Yeah, and it says we only got one person watching. That's well, kind of weird. What, every time we come in to the mm-hmm. live stream... It says one person watching. And you know is, who that one is? Is that us? Yes, that's us. That's us. Oh, now we got nine, though. Yeah, see? So there you go. There you go. We got nine. Welcome to the Wacky Gamer Podcast. Episode? Three. Fifty. Fifty. Oh, did you get me a cake or something? I got you this ticket. Oh, a ticket. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. To a movie that you already saw. Yeah, here. It's another... What's... So you saw Thor. I saw Thor. So how was Thor? I haven't seen it yet. Do you want me to spoil it? Well, don't don't tell the ending. Nobody's seen it. Okay, Natalie Portman is still cute. Okay, well that's good. Um, yeah. That's that's it. That's my review of Thor. That's your review. Like it was so it was bad. No, it was it was good. Well, the, your whole review was Natalie Portman still cute. Well, that's what makes it good. Did you see Luke Besson is coming out with a new movie? It was in the trailers. I'm going linear through the... Uh, All right. Okay. 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 So who's so coming let out? Let me tell you about how the movie started. Okay. If it's going to start with the with the trailers... No, it was awesome. So guess what okay. the trailers were? Okay, Green, what? Green Lantern. Green Lantern. Uh, X-Men First Class. Mm-hmm. Or, or uh, I forget the exact yeah, name class. of the movie. I think but it's First Class. First Class or whatever. No, it's not First Class. I think it is the first class or something. X-Men for, who, who cares? All right. Um, Captain America, uh, X Men First Class. There's another comic book movie in there. Mm-hmm. Cowboys versus Aliens. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was a pretty good uh, 20 minute trailer run before the movie. Yeah. So, so you went to a modern movie. Yeah. <laughs> like that's how, but that's how I mean, this is the ramp-up. first time where like 95 percent of the trailers are like, oh, I might go see that. All right. Well, that's cool. Usually, it's like romantic comedy. So, so you so basically you usually go to see shitty movies. You, I just don't go to the movies because no. I, I enjoy the TV more than I enjoy. Like I, I realized watching. I will say this. Mm. I went to Van Ness okay. Theater. Okay. Yeah. It's blurry. The fucking screen was blurry as shit, which never happens on my home TV. Like there were scenes where it was just like out of focus, and I know they didn't shoot it that way. Like Are you I sure know, you weren't drunk? No, I. I you, you, we stayed for the trailer. Uh, the um, Credits at the end, mm-hmm. and at the end there's a, a I'm assuming a preview for the Avengers or Thor two, one of the two. Probably the Avengers. Um, well, Loki makes an appearance, so mm-hmm. which could be the Avengers, but would be weird. Or it could be Thor, yeah. Okay. Um, but uh, the credits were very very blurry. The text, anyway. So yeah. uh, Thor itself, the movie, mm-hmm. I thought it was pretty good. Really? I did not think it was great. Mm-hmm. I would definitely say you should see it. How would you compare it to Iron Man 1? See, I did not see Iron Man 1 in the theater. Okay. I saw it on DVD. Okay, well, potato, potato. Well, it's a different experience. Mm. I, I, I enjoyed Iron Man 1 a lot. I would say Iron Man 1's a little better. But only a little better? Yeah, but so I didn't think... So that means Thor was a really good movie. I didn't think Iron Man 1 was epic. You're an idiot. I thought X Men One was a better movie than Iron Man. Oh, you're crazy. X Men yeah. One, X Men One, kind of blew some chunks. Well, let me just put it this way, without spoilers, because okay. we, we don't want to spoil. We don't want to spoil it. I thought Thor was a little. It wasn't boring. You know how some movies you sit there and you're like, okay, with an action scene, mm-hmm. come on, bring it, because this is kind of. Yeah. Th- you never had that, but at the same time, it didn't feel like anything happened. So basically, it was like one of our podcasts. Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. But it's like, here's the plot, the be- without okay. spoilers, right? Okay. Thor's sent down to Earth Okay. because he did something stupid. Okay. Right? Bad shit's happening up here. 
He meets in a girl. Asgard. Well, I, I don't want to spoil it for anyone. But they should know what Asgard well, is. Well, it's not just Asgard, but there's there's bad stuff okay. not not happening on Earth. Okay. He needs to go get his hammer. Mm-hmm. Um, something happens to him that makes him like realize what a dick he is, and then he goes and kicks some ass. Like that's the entirety of the plot, in uh, what four sentences? It sounds like a good movie. And really, that's all I can tell you about it. Like, I mean, th- that's everything in a nutshell. I I just want to point out uh, whoever the hell that is supposed to be, Inquintendon. I just Inquit love that. N. I, whatever. I can't even fucking read. I can't read what that's supposed to say. But whoever said that, that was funny. They, they're they just like, Adam's just pretending to listen to you. He's nodding your head and greeting. And He's agreeing. not nodding my head. He's nodding his head. Mm-hmm. He really is. Are you, are you going to see it? Um, am I going to see Thor? After that ringing endorsement? Yeah, of course I'm going to see Thor. I have to. Like, uh, come on. I, I have to. I realize the movie was written by Straczynski. Who's that? He wrote Babylon 5, created Babylon oh. 5. He sounds like a delicious string cheese. So I actually met him at one point. Yeah? Yeah. So what did you say to him? Uh, hey. That's a great story. It is a great story. I'm waiting for the book. No wonder we have 17 people watching us on the internet. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's fucking riveting shit. <laughs> That's amazing. Mmm, string cheese, says Yabin Arba. Did you yep. see that? Mm, well, thank you, Yabin Arba. Cheese. So do you, uh, that, that's all I got really on that's Thor. All, that's all you got I mean, on what Thor. What do you want to know about Thor? Well, ask, you, ask me a uh, specific who's the, uh, non-spoiler question. All right, who's the bad guy? Uh, Loki. Loki is the bad guy in the Thor movie. It's kind of a spoiler. <laughs> is that, really? Well, no. I mean, it's is pretty it clear to be from a the beginning. Okay. Like, I, well, that's the problem with the movie. Like, you see everything happening. You, so you know when Thor's cast out. Which is early on in the movie. Yeah. He's gonna get his powers back, or it's a pretty dumb fucking movie. But you could say you could say that about any movie. Right? Yeah. And no. Well sure, you can. sure, maybe. Like you know James Bond isn't gonna die in a James there you Bond go. movie. You but... know Rambo's gonna win. Yeah. I... You know Thor's gonna get his power back. If Spider Man has a problem, he's gonna turn back into Spider Man by the end of the friggin' movie. But it's kinda like one of those things and I don't know if you don't want to listen to it. Um it, it's like there's some plot twists that aren't really plot twists. Yeah, like you kind of know where the plot twist is going. Yeah. Even while they're doing it. Like mm-hmm. he doesn't have the hammer, right? Yeah. When he when he comes down and mm-hmm. he's got to get the hammer back, and you know it's not just going to be a matter of him walking up to the hammer. You know somebody's got to get in the way, or it's uninteresting. Yeah. So is it the thing? No surprise, oh. it's the government. Like you know whatever. Uh, I would have rather it was the thing. I love I love the Thor versus the thing when they had the, when they had a fight. That was a good fight. Was or that the, was that in a UFC or? No, that wasn't UFC. That, that would have been a badass thinking, UFC. You're thinking the thing versus uh, the beast from X Men. That was a UFC fight. Oh, okay. Very one sided. It was kind of sad. Someone end up with blue paint all over themselves. Mm-hmm. Blue paint? Yeah. That's just the color of his fur, man. He doesn't. Oh, I he thought doesn't it was paint. paint. Pick up a book. I do. I read real books, though, unlike you and your childish comic books. Dude. <laughs> that's not cool. <laughs> that's not cool at all. I'm reading... Did you read any of the stuff I gave you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been I've been reading uh, up on uh, the Green Lantern Corp. Uh, yeah, because apparently he had thought he read all of Blackest Night. Well, well, I did read all of Blackest Night. Well, these are these are the preludes. Yeah, which is kind of important, I think. It's, eh, it's not that important. It 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 helps with the backstory, but yeah. But I mean, Blackest Night, you don't really need all of the backstory to actually understand Blackest Night. It's pretty clear. It's a very well done comic book. You can just read Blackest the actual Night. Blackest yeah. Night and, and figure it out. It's not it's not like it's not like Final Crisis where it's just gibberish. I, I sure that's fair. Yeah. So, but I, I would say Marvel does a worse job at that. You think Marvel does a worse job? Yeah, well, D, well, yes. I think DC does a worse job with it. Go read Civil War. Hmm. Oh well, yeah. Ci- I think Civil War would be a good example where it's done horribly. Well, yeah. In well, it's. I think it's done. It's done horribly in tradeback form. Where it's it's impossible to figure exactly. out where I you're supposed to, to be going. The, the core story. Yeah. 
I don't care what She-Hulk's doing. Well, I'd even be willing to do that if they had some sort of order. If it was like, this is the order to read these comic books in, but they don't with Civil War. It's just like, here's X-Men Civil War, and here's Avengers Civil War, and here's Captain America Civil War. Wait a minute, isn't Captain America in the Avengers? Which one of these am I supposed to read? Am I supposed to be reading? No, you're supposed to read the first comic in the Civil War Avengers. Of all of them? And then the second and third in the Captain America. And then go back to the second of of Avengers, and then the first of Captain America. That's what it feels like. No, it is. I I have an index that someone made. Really? Like, just giant... That's not just you being a douche. No, well, I'm sure I made up the order, but I was reading through the list. List and it is like that. You go to She-Hulk number three and then back to Avengers number two and then like. Uh, I have I have a question. Uh huh. Who's Jason Todd? Why is your hair like that? Is Jason Todd? Are they? T- who's Jason Todd? Batman? Like Robin? I don't know. I have a Jason Todd haircut. Is I don't know if this is good or Do bad. Do you see this hair that you got going? Well, on? whatever. I'm just busy being pissed off. I'm putting my hat back on. You should put whoever your hair tell. Back. Look at that. that thing yeah, it is Robin. But <laughs> I don't want a Robin haircut. Why not? Robin? Oh, come on. Wait, are we talking the spandex Robin? Or are we talking? I'm gonna. I'm no, gonna... yeah, no. We're talking about the spandex Robin. Yellow Jason and Todd. red and. Yeah. Yeah. There's what? There was Dick Grayson. Yeah, Dick Grayson. Jason Todd and the monsters. Jason Todd no, and the monsters. It's not, why are you are you trying to distract me? I'm trying to figure out the the three so, Batman or the Robins. Three Batman. The three Robins. And then the kid. Yeah, but what's the kid's name? We talked There's about three, it last last I know. week, and now we can't remember. Now I can't remember. Whatever. I don't want to be Jason Todd. <laughs> right, so why I'm don't right. you want to be Jason Todd? Well, I don't know. Because you're not Dick Grayson. Because you're not the first Robin. Is well, I'd rather be Nightwing. If I'm gonna be, if I'm gonna be a Robin, I'd rather be Nightwing. The one that becomes Nightwing. The one that becomes Nightwing and takes on the mantle of Batman for a while. That would be the one that I want. I wouldn't want Jason Todd, sniveling little bitch. Wow. That's right. I feel bad. Uh, Sugar Bottom Sweet Sweetie PL wants us to show our six packs. They're in the fridge right now. Adam will show his, but oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Just don't elbow me in the face is all I ask. Okay, now you can sit down. Um, <laughs> oh, we're not paying attention that to you, Max Power Pie. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, so just so you guys know, we we mentioned this on Facebook. We're gonna be in and out of the comments, uh, just yeah. because it's we do have audio only listeners and it's a little too ADD when we're constantly yeah the, especially with Adam because Adam doesn't read well or quickly. I I'm dyslexic. Say quickly. I'm dyslexic. I'm not. I'm not. Ju- I'm just saying. All right. You don't read quickly, so sometimes you'll spend like five minutes just staring yeah, at the text. I can't. I can't multitask. Somebody has the weirdest boner ever from seeing my stomach. That's fine. Whatever. I I want to I want to know what a weird boner is. I'm thinking like it's like a corkscrew. Uh, tuna can. Oh, a tuna can. That would be a weird boner. Yeah. That'd be a weird boner. Like normally, you're you're like a small mint container. Me? Then, no. How, why would you the say tuna me? can? Oh, boner. the two. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then you'd become a yeah a tuna can. It, like it like. It goes out. Yeah, it goes out, not up. out. Yeah, yeah or, it, 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 it goes it, sideways, it not, yeah. It's a, a girth boner. Yeah. Hmm. That is a weird boner. You're right. That is, thank you, Waffle Man. He has, I really don't want to know the weirdest boner. I kind of want to know the weirdest boner. Okay. So I, I just, speaking of boners. Oh, okay. You, you were talking about strip clubs. Mm-hmm. I did a bit on stage on Thursday. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? The, uh, mm. the strangest song to get a lap dance to. Yeah. Wh- what would yours be? The strangest song to get a lap dance to? Yes. Um, Do you want me to go first let you think about it? Yeah. Here, here were my two suggestions. You can keep thinking. It was the Facts of Life theme song. Okay, that's, yeah. Because that's... it pretty much uh, sums up a stripper's life. You take the good, you take the bad, and when you're done, you know you have the Facts of Life. That's a really that song's a lot sadder now. Okay, the second one was uh, the Golden Girls theme song. Thank you for being a friend. No, that's pretty hot. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I have a thing for older women. You guys put your suggestions in. I'll read them if we can. Well, somebody do already them, did. It's raining men. I don't. It really depends. I don't know on if that's sad. Are you are you in a, a male strip club or a female it, strip that, club? I think that's that's the thing. You got to figure out. <laughs> who's stripping for you yeah yeah i don't know the saddest songs yes you know geez um 
Well, you know, somebody always says Janie's got a gun is a pretty, uh, what would your daddy do if he saw me splooge all over you? Is that not how no, the that's, song goes? No, that's not how, oh. why would that? Friday by Rebecca Black, that's a good one. <laughs> Friday, Friday, <laughs> gotta get down on Friday. Take off your clothes, it's Friday. <laughs> yeah, that would, that would be, that would be bad. Um, the Pokemon theme song was another good one. Pokemon theme song is nice. I don't know what I would say. I would say probably a meatloaf song. A meatloaf song. Which one? Yeah. I would do anything that for would be bad. love. That would be bad. But um, I won't do, do that. that. <laughs> yeah, that's more like what a girlfriend would say when you ask her to do a lap dance. Hey, you want to do a lap dance? What I'd a do girl anything. wants. What, what a, a girl, girl needs. needs. There you go. That would be bad. Any Britney Spears. I think, you know, mostly it would be annoying music for me. You know what I would really hate? The Venga Bus? Uh, Katy Perry. <laughs> no, I'd love that. I'd actually be dancing around. <laughs> peanut Butter Jelly Time. That would be a great song to listen <laughs> peanut to. Peanut Butter Jelly Time. Peanut Butter Jelly Time. Wait it. Wait it. Wait it. Wait it. Wait it. Now there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. With Peanut Butter Jelly. Peanut Butter Jelly. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love that song. I want I now I want a lap dance. <laughs> uh, one rock one knows what he's talking about, man. Wait, all song. right, so we gotta get off stripper songs right, yeah, we'll why, be here I don't know why we're talking about the stripper chicken songs. song? The chicken song? Is that I like the that chicken song. song? Yeah, that's a chicken song. The electric slide? Uh well, what about the electric slide? Lap dance song. That would be a bad lap dance song. There's, I think there's, I think it's really easy to come up with bad lap dance songs. There, I think the majority of songs are bad lap dance. Are songs? bad lap dance. Songs. You really? Yeah, leader of the pack. You know what would be terrible? Terrible lap dance. Pretty song. much any Kenny G tune. Well, this might be personal, but I like, I like me some Kenny G when I'm getting it on. <laughs> I'm I'm a half I don't know about any of the listeners but I'm half chubbed like tuna can chubbed I'm I'm tuna cannon <laughs> you're tuna cannon is that like Nick Cannon's brother yeah <laughs> tuna, tuna cannon, cannon. Yeah. Uh, oh I got I got something nerdy uh, to talk about oh, fine switch the topic let's switch the, well we got to talk about something other than getting lab dances from we got to ask women. more weird questions because that was the funnest part of the podcast and we stopped right. doing it for a while well fine ask you can a weird do your nerd you can. But well, I watched. I or didn't watch. I played Little Big Planet too. Also, or two? No, two. Number two. Yeah, I, all right. Yeah, it was really good. Really good, like uh, Thor is to Iron Man, or see, I haven't seen Thor, so I couldn't tell you. But um, I don't know. Little Big Planet two to me, it's like Little Big Planet, except now there's a story and it's fun. Oh, so they made it not suck. Well, I I I, I liked I liked Little Big Planet. <laughs> I liked it, but it was just a lot of, you know, uh, look at me running around on these boards. I can dress up my guy. Oh, the game's over? Like, <laughs> that, yeah. Well, someone asked if you played online. That would be kind of hard considering it's a PSN game. That's wah, right. Wah, you wah, can't play wah. it online. Yep, because the PlayStation Network's down still. So if you like the internet... This is what I heard, by the way, which is interesting, is that Sony announced that they wanted to give free games away, right, mm-hmm. as part of the, sorry, PSN's been down for so long. Sorry, all of your information was stolen. But what they're, uh, what they're trying to do is get developers to give their games away for free. They're, they're like going so around they're not developers. even willing to... Well, no, and the developers are asking, like, well, are you going to give us the cut that we would normally get? Yeah. Cuz you know, you put a game on PSN for $10 and you may only get 5 bucks. So they're like, "Well, yeah. you're going to give us the 5 bucks mm-hmm. per free copy." And they're like, "No." And they're like, "Then why the f- Then why would we ever do that?" So let me get this right. You've cost us at least 2 weeks of sales so far because we there's no market place mm-hmm. and you're asking us to give shit away for free. That's uh fantastic. Yeah, I uh, yeah, why? Why, like, yeah, why would anybody? I don't know why they thought anyone would be like, yeah, fucking sign me up. Yeah, PlayStation's really shitting the bed on this one. Yeah, you know. And how long has the network been down for? Like a month? Sixteen days, I think. Here, that's, hold that's, on, let me look. That's right a quick. month in dog years. Uh, PSNDowntime.com. Go visit it. Sixteen days, twenty-two hours, eighteen minutes, and forty-five seconds. Yeah, forty-six seconds. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Well, it just keeps going like 52 that. Fifty-two seconds. 
I I love the fact that they have a wait, picture. Wait for it. We're going to hit 19 minutes. You ready? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, there you go. 16 days, 22 hours, 19 minutes. There you go. I love the fact if you go to the website, they have a picture of a train falling out of a building. Well, that's like a destroyed my building. friend's website that he made. Oh, that's nice. That's, yeah. that's exactly <laughs> what it feels like. I think there should be just a picture of a guy stealing money from my pocket. Your pocket? No. no. <laughs> well, A, you just got a credit card. That's true. B, mm-hmm. you don't have any money to take. No, credit cards are full of imaginary money that doesn't really exist. <laughs> the credit so card you, company's going to realize that it's not you no, they, why, once they why realize it's not on comic books and porn. Oh, that's true. That's right? Fine. Yeah. I mean, yeah. No, you sir, me. you bought some educational supplies and a television. You're like, no, nope, definitely wasn't me. We noticed you bought vegetables. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't mine. <laughs> definitely that wasn't, wasn't mine. me. Were they fried? No, 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 no definitely no. not me. <laughs> it wasn't French fries. <laughs> uh... No, well, my my thing is, it's just I don't know. It's they got to do something. They got to do something to try and win back people. Cause like, well, that's the thing. What I mean, a, a month and a free game feels like kind of like hand yeah, service. It's, it's like, yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry, the Nigerians took your credit card information. Well, yeah. Or have have the equivalent of fifteen dollars. Our service is down for a year. I mean, I believe they should probably give away like. The premium service for free for the rest of the year. Just on us, six to mm. nine months of free premium I, service. I agree. Uh, no credit card required. And a, a one-time code, $10 on them. Buy whatever you want on the store. Yeah. Not specific free games, but the, they eat just, the cost. Just here's 10 Well, bucks, yeah, they, they should it. eat the cost. I, That's I, fucking I, annoying. It's annoying. What would you do? I mean, what would you... If I owned the company? If you... What would you expect them to do, I guess? What would make you happy? What would make me happy is uh, six free months of uh, PlayStation Network. And, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, you know, for each month, yeah, a minimal of $10 uh, off of anything that I choose each month that they're down. Oh, that's harsh. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of a harsh asshole, but I'm one of those weirdos that's like, hey... uh, if it's a service that you're forcing me to have and you got shit stolen from me, you should lick my taint. Your taint? Yeah. Not the butthole. I'm not uh, – nothing gay. Not – well, someone said PSN is always free, but he's talking about the sure. premium service, not yeah. the not the free part of the service. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't want free shit. Like, I don't want crap in home. Well, I don't, I don't want, want them... like a, a movie poster from my home. Uh, yeah, I don't no. want them to pick what they're going to give me because they're going to give me shit. Yeah, they're going to give you crap, crap, crappy crap. Yeah. Shitty shit, shitty crap, crappy shit. Crap shit, crap. Somebody's asking, uh, have we ever played Guilty Gear or Blaze Blue? Comma. What are Jeff those? Jeff slash Adam. I have played Jeff slash Adam. I've played Jeff slash Adam. That it's game sucks. a little gay. I have played Guilty Gear uh, not in a long ass time, though. What the hell's Guilty Gear? It's a fucking video game. I can't yeah, I, school you on the history of video games, my friend. But what? Okay, well, why don't you just Here, inform me, everybody? Just let me tell just them what Guilty Gear is. Get it up for you. How hard is it to just explain a Here. friggin' video game? It's a fighting game. There you go. But That's look, all you had to say. Is you a gotta fighting see game. it to believe it. Okay, well, it looks pretty weird. <laughs> it's a Japanese. I, I mean, it's a Japanese fighting game. Yeah, it's, I would. I don't want to say similar to Doc Stalkers, but that kind of it more is. lighthearted, like. It is. Goofy it's feel. To with, but there you go. But it's music kind of based, but not really. like. It's it's. So how is it? It's a fun game. I there mean, you go. My, I just got Mortal Kombat. I just bought it. I oh. haven't played it yet. Oh, yeah? Uh, so. Well, that sounds pretty sweet. I might have to kick your ass at Mortal Kombat. You're not going to kick my ass at Mortal Kombat. I think Kombat. we might have to film me beating you at Mortal Kombat. Why? We've already proven time and time again no, that I'm better at games no, than you. No, we haven't. Yes. And I think, I think the viewers... Would probably love to see me kick your ass at Mortal Kombat. I doubt anyone gives a shit about you losing at Mortal Kombat. Um, sure. All right. You just watch. Next topic, please. You got it, buddy. Uh, somebody, uh, brought up, uh, TV shows that we'd like to be, uh, that we'd like to see made into movies. Sure. I don't remember who it was, but they suggested ALF. I would love to see a movie version of ALF. Why? But I w- well, I wouldn't want it to be like a light family comedy. I, w- I would want it to be a dark comedy slash horror. Like, oh, I was going to say like E.T. No. And then you said horror. 
like dark, like the cable guy meets the shining. What about child's play? What about child's play? Or is it child's play? Chucky with Chucky? With Chucky. Child's yeah, but play just replace before. Chucky with Alf. With Alf? Yeah. That w- that would not be that scary if that was as simple. Uh, I kill you. Hey, like, Willy, Willy. <laughs> Here, kitty. I don't. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't think. I don't know if that would be a. Uh, <clears throat> hey, Willy, a where's your movie? Wife? But what would be what would be a, a movie that you'd uh, you'd like to see a, a TV show made into a movie that you'd like to see? Oh, that's tough. TV show made into a movie. Arrested Development. Yes, I'm still waiting for the for rest of the development movie. I know that that's kind of easy because they were already talking about making a movie, but I want I want that movie. Yeah, they've been talking about it for a while, and I'm going fucking ape shit waiting for it. But I don't think they're. I think isn't the problem that uh, that Michael Sarah guy or whatever his name is, he won't He's do it. He's too popular. He, yeah, which is just baffling. Yeah, well, he, he, is. he does one character. Uh, Archer. I could go for an hour and a half long Archer. I could. Yeah, I could see maybe an Archer. Uh, Movie. It would have to be. That would be a made-for-TV movie, though. You know, I don't think. I don't, I don't think, think anyone specified. The they didn't specify. They didn't. So specify. I'm, I'm going to go with Archer. Doctor Who's already like a movie when they when well, they doc, do multiple. Yeah, Doctor seasons. Doctor Who always has uh, long movie. episodes or and multiple. What yeah. Thunder Thirty Seven? He's he's saying Smurfs. Uh, they're already coming out with a Smurfs movie. Um. Hmm. And the Smurfs movie looks awful. I saw some posters for it. It looks bad. It's Where did you see posters? Were you hanging out in like daycares again? No, it was at the AMC Van Ness, the movie theater that you went to to see Thor. I didn't see any Smurfs posters. Did you walk around and look at all the posters? No, because I have see, a life. That's what I do before every one of uh, the, the movies I go see. I walk around, I well, look at all the posters. What movie were you there for? For that one? What movie? Uh, Sucker Punch. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's acceptable. It, no, it wasn't. Um, Wasn't okay. the Smurfs movie Avatar? No, I don't think it was Avatar. <laughs> uh, other other uh, other movie, other TV shows, into other movies, t- other TV shows that I'd like to see into movies. I think I think the big thing is it can't be a sitcom. Sitcom movies always end up being shitty. You know. Well, I mean, we said we wanted Arrested Development though. It's a sitcom. Uh, yeah, but wah, is that, wah, yeah, wah, that's true. That's fail. true. No, but that would but that would be a sitcom. Where they're actually getting the original cast and just doing a long version. Well, what, show. are you like talking Brady like the Bunch. Brady Bunch movie? Yeah, the yeah. Brady Bunch movie, That's the first thing or a Partridge Family movie, or Gilligan's Island, McHale's Navy. Those all sucked. Hmm. So I think if I if I was gonna pick one, I'd pick uh you know you'd have to pick a TV show. That so like had Firefly. Some legs. Firefly, yeah, Fly, Firefly would be a the good Serenity example. Serenity and you know whatever. I don't know about Serenity. I wouldn't want to watch that one, but. Hmm. That'd be fine. So what? So I don't know. Hmm, a TV show. I'm 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 blanking. I gave all my. Oh, the Terminator TV show. I'd love to see some Terminator movies. Why haven't they ever done you that? You see, like the Sarah Chrono- Connor Chronicles. No, I'm just fucking with oh. you like an asshole. I don't that's, care that's though. Kind of see, that's the difference. You get all riled up. I'm I do get riled. Up. I do. I I would like to see Heroes the movie. Ooh. I think that would be all right. Except they they fucked it up after the first season in my oh I, I when i say that i want a full revamp how about a v movie where they finish the story yeah how about a v movie where i see the fucking aliens like have i se- i still haven't seen the aliens you have on uh the v series the original v series the new one no i have i stopped watching it if you make me watch an entire season and you don't bother showing me the alien they did not in the first season they have the little piece like on the eye the the little piece right here that's bullshit. That's oh. a blemish. You show me a friggin' blemish. That's like dating a girl for a year and she shows you a nipple. It's like, no, we went all the way. No, we didn't. You show me a nipple. You're just a pussy. No, I'm not a. You're a pussy. You know, I know one of the the guys in in the original V series. I worked with him. Well, that's cool. He's a programmer. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Which guy? Uh, I don't want to say his name. I don't remember his character. He was a little kid at the time. Child actor. See, this is the part where Adam's reading. Notice that well, he's not saying anything. He's reading. Because I'm just like, okay, he's the child actor. I'm waiting a for lot you of children. to chime in with some topic or something. Well, it looks like a lot of people on uh, on the live comments right now are talking about revamped movies and sequels to movies. You know, somebody's saying that they want to see another Gremlins movie. I think that would be a great idea. I'd love I, to see I it. would pay for another Gremlins. And Black, uh, Black Nerd Comedy would, too. Andre? Yeah? He He's... Big on the Gremlins. Gremlins are friggin' awesome. I loved the Gremlins growing up. 
I'm really hesitant. <laughs> like, the thing about the revamp movies is they go one of two ways. You know, it's either I'm so happy they made another or so why did you different. rape my childhood? Well, so, like, uh, I was trying to convince Laurel, my wife, at Christmas. We were, mm-hmm. we were trying to figure out um, what Christmas movies to watch. And we, here, I know it's not Christmas, but best Christmas movie of all time. Mm-hmm. Name it. A Christmas Story. No. Die Hard or Gremlins. Oh, shit. Bam. You're right. You're right. I always <laughs> forget those are Christmas movies. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you get in the holiday spirit by watching Nakatomi Plaza get blown up. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's it's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> or the Gremlins set fire to a hardware store. <laughs> I really would like to see. Now I'm in the mood to watch Gremlins. And then we'll have to put the Christmas tree There out. are some weird-ass suggestions here. We got one person saying they want a real-life DuckTales for, for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, the that Truman was, Show The remake. Truman Show remake. The Legend of Zelda. I like this idea for a movie. I would watch a Legend of Zelda, a Legend of Zelda movie. Well, someone just that. asked video game movies. So. Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda. Um, yeah, except I, you couldn't have all nine uh, castles. Well, I, I would, would say, say Final forever. Fantasy, but they already fucked that up. Um, yeah, and that was gibberish. Yeah, it was. It was. It was like watching Akira. Like, what is going on right now? Yeah. Um. Um. Other video game movies. I see. I. I know they're trying to make a Halo movie, and they have been for a while, but I just don't think it's going to turn out well. I would agree with you. I mean, like, I bet it's going to suck. The story just doesn't. Now, Nathan Drake from Uncharted. That could like a. Uh, well, Uncharted is almost already a movie. More modern day um, yeah. uh, characters. Indiana Jones. Assassin's Creed would be cool too. You make a good action movie out that of it. That could be. That could be all right. That could be all right. I'd. I'd like a Dragon Age movie. Would you now? Yes. Nobody cares because that game sucks. Dragon Age does not suck. Dragon Back Age me up, people. So on live comments. bad. Dragon Age is friggin' awesome. It's like one of those games you give to your 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 little cousin, and you're like, "Sorry, I got this at the bargain bin," but you don't know the difference. You can't get you can't get Dragon Age in the bargain bin. Yeah, Dragon Age. Thank you. No, thank you, Dragon fan Paul. Age sucks. No, Dragon Age is awesome. Everybody loves Dragon Age. All 25 of our fans are huge fans of Dragon Age. Dragon Age sucks. Whatever. It doesn't suck. It sucks I, so you know, bad. You know, the reason you think it sucks is because you got nowhere in the game. Because you got they bored don't after know like how 10 to make minutes. A good game. Oh, God, you suck. Uh, you go try and play a pure class, caster class in that game. Yeah, I did. And a I healer? won the game. No. Not a healer. Doesn't healers happen. are gay. Why would you be a healer? Because healers are awesome. Who? Healers are the spice of life. They are not the spice of life. It's like... It, wrong. It's, you you get to be anything in the fictional world, and you go into the service industry. That's really what you are as a healer. That's because it's you might as well, my you life. Might as well, you might as well like fucking be a fry cook. Well, so that's the difference between Medieval me and you. Medieval fry cook. You work in the service industry, so your fantasy is to not be in my. I don't work in the service industry, so my fantasy is to be in. I wouldn't say that I work in the the service you industry. You service Curtis all the time. Oh, anyway. God. Anyway. You suck. <laughs> that's his boss. <laughs> dead red redemption or red dead redemption you would do make that a good every movie. fucking time it's called fucking dyslexia get used to it i'm but... so sick of people making fun of my handicap dead red redemption was awesome red, i spent a lot of red time dead on that photoshop was... remember that you did yeah you and did. That was no one ever remembers that video but i spent a lot okay. of time on that one fucking picture anyway <laughs> um what somebody also said uh, they'd like to see another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. No, I'm good. Really? I want to see They've another. They've been getting progressively worse. No. Yeah. No. The the I mean, okay. Granted, one was the best. Two and three, pretty bad. Yeah. But the fourth one. Third they did, was worse than two. Yes. Because third did not have Vanilla Ice. Okay. Well, there's other reasons. They're in time. They did oh. the costumes wrong. Um. But uh, I think one of the big things was uh. The fourth one, the the all computer animated one, that one was good. It was pretty good. It wasn't as good as a live action one. I wanted a live action one. No. No, I I'm ready for another live action Ninja Turtles done right. You we're gonna do it right this time. Bebop and Rocksteady will be in it. Do you think they Shredder could pull off a it. really good looking Bebop and Rocksteady? Yes. Well, because the ones I remember were just over the top cartoony, and it's really hard to do that look. Well, yeah, well you can't live do action. You, you can't do over the top cartoony. 
It had Which to be is why like, I don't think it would ever work for me. No, it had to be more like like the Rhino Men that are in Doctor Who. Yeah, they look great in the Rhino Men. There but you go. Not, that's that's they're not Bebop and Rocks. Well, there's okay. Bebop. You put a pair of glasses no. on him. I'm not buying it. Whatever. They'd look great. They'd look great, and we need it. I mean, to me, that's the problem with taking like animated series like that and making it live action. Is you never. I mean, even He Man, right? I don't care what you do, you can't make it look right. Well, yeah, that's why you you have to do the thing that the X Men did. You know, when Marvel did the X Men, they didn't try to make it look like the cartoon. They revamped it. They're like, okay, well, because it came out of a comic book, that, uh, yeah, partially. Well, a comic's a fucking drawn thing. It's a medium. It's a cartoon. But they they forget it. I'm no, you're saying forget it because I'm right. No, because the comic books they actually try to get some figures right. Where in the cartoons, they just do whatever the hell they want. Well, yeah, and that's why I'm saying you have to just revamp. You just change it to be in the real world. I'm, I'm still not buying it. You don't change it so much that it's not even like the original one, like they did with the original He-Man movie. Do you remember the original live-action He-Man movie? Yes, I do. Yeah, that sucked. I know. That's what I'm saying. Whereas... Comic books are easier than uh, shows. Fuck you. The, Someone it, just okay. said that. I win. Yeah. They didn't say... Number one, they didn't say fuck and you. And by the way, I won Nerd Wars. Raiden is better than Thor. You, Raiden isn't better than Thor. He's so much better. Raiden Someone made the best point that I totally forgot. And what, what's that point? So Thor has metal armor, which is conductive, while Raiden has paper pants on, so not conductive. Yeah. Win. So wait, you're going to try and electrocute Thor. It's going to do a lot more. The god of thunder and lightning. Yeah, you're going to electrocute Raiden, anything. the other god of thunder? Exactly. Right. And so it's going to go down to a, a fucking bare knuckle boxing match. Plus, I think... Thor would crush Raiden. He can lift up... He can go toe-to-toe with the incredible friggin' Here's Hulk. Here's what's going to happen, right? Thor and Raiden are going to stand off, right? They're going to stand on either side of the bridge, right? Why is there a bridge in this all of a sudden? Because they're fighting on the Bifrost. Anyway, so they're going to stand on either side of the bridge, mm-hmm. right? Getting them ready to, to throw some lightning at each other. Mm-hmm. They throw lightning at each other. Raiden's clothes just burst into flames. He's standing there naked. Thor, being as gay as he is, is going to see Raiden naked and just drop down and start getting him Oh, God, you're an idiot. Every time over. I think you're going to have it's over. a point, every time I think you're going to say something that matters, you prove me wrong. No, that mattered. You, no, that didn't you, matter that's at all. That's undeniable. This was just, it was just another homosexual fantasy of yours. It was just you daydreaming about Raiden naked. No, I never daydream about Raiden oh, naked. God, I I've seen you. it, and it's nasty. Hung like a tuna can. Anyway, so we've we've decided everybody's agreed. I peruse. Thor wins. Everybody's no one agreed. has said a damn thing. I'm pretty. It's implied. It's implied. Okay, two people said Thor. One guy said Raiden. Whatever. So Thor wins. We got that down. Okay. What are we What are we talking about? We were talking about something, and and you you. Freaking sidetracked me. Yeah, we with, were talking about how you need like a fucking enema or something. I don't know. What, what, you want a different topic? Someone asked one. Fine. Go. What's a, what's a topic? Um, what's your favorite board game as a kid? Ooh, my favorite board game as a kid. I forget the name of that stupid game. It was uh, the one with the stuff. It was a. It was like a Dungeons and Dragons board game. Um. Fuck. I don't even remember. That was probably my favorite board game. That being said, played it maybe three times. Uh, so it'd be that or Trivial Pursuit. Mouse Trap. Mouse Trap, really? I just like setting the thing up and trapping the mouse, the little Rube Goldberg type thing. That was yeah. fun. Did you, did you ever? I never actually played the game. I, just I didn't set either. Up, I just yeah. set it up and would dick around with the mouse and the yeah. Yeah. So it, could that be? <laughs> is that really a board game? <laughs> it is a board game. Whether you play it as such is a totally different one. But All right, I, mean, I guess so. He didn't say he had to play it with other people. He just said, "What's your favorite board game?" I I, I, an, I answered the question. Don't fucking yeah. judge me. Okay, I'm I'm sorry, man. Raiden wins. You know, I like to access and allies. That was Dude, a, that was a big so game. So there's a game, uh, History of the World. Have you ever played it? No. Old, old, old game, like Access and Allies, one of those military games. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My friends and I were playing it back in Seattle in <laughs> seven hours. It's three epochs or whatever, I think. Uh, we, were, we weren't out of Epoch 1. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> like... It takes the history of the world to play history of the world. Oh, I think God. is kind of the point. That sounds like a terrible game. Well, it's it's a cool game with like cool mechanics. It just is not conducive to people who like to overthink things. Yeah, I don't so you know. have a couple people in the group that are like trying to plan like five turns ahead or whatever, and it's just 
Yeah, terrible. Terrible, that terrible, sound, terrible. That sounds like a fucking awful game, Jeff. Yeah. The history of the world. Yeah. Like, like what's, what's the, what other fun games did you play as a kid? Like My Science Project and Math for Dummies? Like, yeah. What, what great ass games are these? Uh, my Science Project's a good one. Is that? Have a, you played it? It was a good movie. It's My Secret Identity was pretty good, too. My Secret Identity, that would be a, a TV show that I'd like to see made into a movie. <sighs> Favorite Val Kilmer movie of all time? Willow. Really? We've talked about this. Willow oh. is by far my favorite. Hmm. What are you going to say? The, the one where he's blind and he falls in love? No, the, the science one. Um, Real the Genius? Real Genius, yeah. Real Genius was good. The Giant Popcorn. <laughs> Real genius, it's amazing. <laughs> that that when he, they fill the house with popcorn, yeah, that's fucking genius. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was good. Somebody's asking, what about a D and D movie? I'm assuming they're looking at my shirt. I'm wearing my Dungeons and Dragons shirt today uh, that my girlfriend just got me because uh, she's awesome. Uh, yeah, she's al- almost a bigger nerd than you are. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Almost, almost. But uh, she weighs less. She's so pretty she's, short. She's uh, short not as big a nerd. Mm-hmm. Um, well, here's the thing. If we're talking about mass. Are we true. talking about mass? Are we're we talking, talking about, about nerdism? Ner- well, in nerdism, I think I'm still bigger. Yeah, you're just overall fatter. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm uniformly fat. But okay. uh, there's, there's already been two Dungeons & Dragons movies. Yeah. You and, know? and they were bad? Uh, they, they were well, the bad. No, they were. That's as good as I can say about. They were both awful. They were really bad. The TV series was better, even though it had nothing to do with Dungeons and Dragons. Well, the animated. Yeah. TV series. It had tons to do with Dungeons and Dragons. They got teleported into the D and D world. <coughs> and made you choke on your own saliva. Yes, they got teleported into the D and D world. She's on here. Yeah, I know Casey's on there. There's Casey. That's my girlfriend, Casey. Casey L. That's me. Um. I don't know what the L's for. Uh, uh, but, lick? I think it's for Lick. Oh, well, I guess it's her middle name, actually, that isn't it? Yeah, that's a Lee. Anyway, so. Brazil, representado. Anyway. Como está Brazil? D&D I know like... I speak Portuguese, but whatever. Somebody said D&D like Avatar. I think what they're saying is they want they want a machine that you can get in. And port and you into D&D? Port you into a D&D Avatar body. And that sounds like the coolest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Not at all. It sounds like the lamest thing I've ever heard of. No, that sounds wicked Why don't, sweet. You should play World of Warcraft on the role-playing server, because mm. you have a good time. Good Mm-mm. day, gentlemen. Mm-mm. I don't know why that's like Victorian era. I will not touch World of Warcraft. Crack cocaine, man. But I would put my body into... <laughs> Into a machine. <laughs> you would plug into the Matrix. Get, I would become a D and D avatar. I don't. I'm now. You know, all I'm thinking about now is like, which character type would I be? I'm. I'm kind of thinking dwarf, but I really like being a thief. That's not a character type. That's just a race. Well, it's a race. I'd be a dwarven fighter. What? I mean, what else are you gonna be? You can't be. I'm not. I'd already told you, I'm not gonna be a cleric. Dwarves suck with dexterity, and they can't, <laughs> was, they can't do magic. Like, what do you want? Say, hey, dwarves suck with dicks. <laughs> so they're going to be shitty bards, I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wouldn't be a bard either, no. Uh, I think a dwarf, a dwarf would be all right. I would, I would be, I'd uh, be a, a, some kind of archer. An archer, yeah. Like Might be any, a, anybody that lets me both, any class that makes me both sling. Or may, me maybe sling. an elven, uh, elven. I don't rogue. know why I've always been uh, keen on elf, elves. Elf really? classes, yeah. I I usually don't like elves, but uh, sometimes you can get the one. Like I love dark elves, but they're just cliche now. Even like reading you know? The Hobbit, always elves. Really, the I elves. Just, just thought that was the coolest part of the book. Elves are pretty cool. Uh, yeah. I would always play like elves in D and D when I started my first WoW character. My main up until recently was an elf. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just how I roll, I guess. I mean, I don't know what to say. I'm just fucking badass like that. You are kind of a badass. I know with the bow, shit. Yeah, that's something you don't hear a lot. Like elf girls are hot. I mean, that really, I guess that's the end of the. Elf girls are hot. Yeah. You don't usually hear a badass with bow. Well, you also usually don't hear dwarf chicks are hot. You never hear dwarf chicks are hot. <laughs> um, a lot of a lot of uh, Dungeons and Dragons worlds, dwarf chicks have beards. And, yeah, kind of have to be a dwarf to actually be able to identify which one's a female and which one's a male. That's the that's the really, really creepy yeah. one. Yeah. It's like, is that, is that a male dwarf that just shaved? 
Well, no, they don't shave. Or female dwarf with really long hair. I think like, I what? think in those worlds they're supposed to have finer hair. Like you can tell because it's nicer beard hair. Like like a, a beautiful. Can't you tell by body odor? Because like I I don't care whether you're a male or female, and I've known some transsexuals as well. Mm. They still got the man odor. Like the man yeah. odor, you can put on as much perfume as you want, but like guys sweat a certain way. And you know a lot about man odor. Yeah, because I go to the gym. I'm like, you, you're fat ass. <laughs> I can tell how much you go to the gym. Damn right. You look good. I do look good. You look really good, Jeff. You you you're really working on the barrel shape, and and it's looking nice. I, you're well ahead of me, buddy. Mine's a box shape. <laughs> you're There's not a going for a box shape. This is a box shape. You're buddy. going for, I think, uh, when you wake up in the morning, you're like, well, here, how can I look more like Kevin Smith? Wait a minute, everybody, you got the hat? everybody <laughs> online seen my stomach. Jeff, why don't, why don't you show your I don't beautiful see my stomach? St- I got a big appendectomy scar right oh, now. Nasty. Oh, yeah, the big appendectomy scar. That yeah. must be bad. Do you have one? Yeah, I already had my append- uh, oh, my appendix taken stars. out. Well, it's, it's, yeah. mine's nothing. That's the thing. It's, yeah. no, actually, uh, it's his pants making a big line on his fucking gut. <laughs> no. Come on, show your stomach. Nope. Come on, I'm the fat happen. one and I've done it. Yeah, I, I think we, dignity. I think we, I think we all know who has the real body I have, issues. I have my dignity. I and you, you don't have any dignity. I would, uh, but sugar bottom sweetie, uh, I'm, I'm, or sweetie pie, I'm not mm-hmm. sure if you're being a Seems dick. Seems like everybody or not. wants you to do it. Everybody, yeah. yeah. W- one person. Whoever wants, whoever wants to see Jeff's sexy body, go ahead. You, uh, go ahead, just put up on there how badly you want to see it. Show it, do it, do it. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, you two guys are number 10 or 1. I don't know what that means. Do it. Show it. Show it, bitch. Uh, come okay, on, you gotta Jeff. Discount don't Casey. be a bitch. Oh. Ha, ha, ha. Here's a funny thing to Wait do. Wait a minute. Why are you changing the subject? I want to say about... what I want, but while I'm remembering it, I mm-hmm. want to say what I did to you and Casey at the bar on what Thursday. Did you, what did you do? Did you hear what I asked Casey after the drink incident? No. Okay. So I, Adam, uh, Casey ordered Adam a beer. Yes, because it, she's a good girlfriend. It, it's sitting on the table. So I just get the rim, and I, I lick around it, and I bring it up to him. Because he's a dick. He licked all over my beer bottle. And uh, she fucking texts him. But of Adam, course. Adam, being the uh, alcoholic he is, just wipes it off and drinks from it anyway. Mm-hmm. Later on that night, I go up to Casey, and I go, let me know if you can taste me when you kiss him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I heard <laughs> you say that. <laughs> you see how he's changing the subject? From a stomach. Uh, Why did you do that to my beer? Why did I do it to your beer? I'm just trying to drink a beer. Because I know the worst that would happen is you wouldn't drink it. And yeah. I'd just buy another one. <laughs> I mean, it's what? You could have bought like me that? another one, too. It probably wasn't even four bucks for the comedians. No, not four dollars. Was it four bucks? It's usually four seventy five. For fucking Bud? Yep. Jeez. Well, it's down in the financial disc. Who cares? Nobody cares about this shit unless you live in San Francisco. Someone wants you to rape me. Yeah, it's not I, really I, rape if it's consensual. Well, because everybody knows who the hero of the podcast is. It would be me, and you're the villain. That's true. I'm not gonna deny that. There you go. But uh, show your body, you, Jeff. You, take you, off your shirt. It's not gonna take happen. Take off your shirt. Take it's not gonna happen. Shirt. It's not gonna happen. Why are you talking that way? Because you were just cheering. Take off your shirt. Not gonna look at oh. look at how many people want to see it. There's A, only 24 Don't people. Don't change the subject. Show it. Yeah, not a 24 people. Only one doesn't want you to show it. Show it. I'm not showing it. See, all right, then I want you to shut up about my body. Not going to happen. Well, then stop being a little pussy. No, when you acknowledge that you pussed out with the uh, the the nuggets, then I will I will show my stomach. I puss, I puss, uh, well, alright, this is like the ninth time that this guy's brought this up. If yeah, you watch I'm the still, drinking I'm, podcast. I'm still he, waiting for you to man up and admit it. You know what? You when know you what? man up, I'll man up. Alright, cool. I totally pussed out on the nuggets. Show, show, How your, did you push show out? your body. Uh, because I didn't want to take a shot. Yeah. Yeah, and I refused to take a shot when the president told me to. Go ahead, show your body to everybody. Mm-hmm. Show your sexy body. There you go. So thin. So, so in shape, always at the gym. Jeff Reitman, everybody. Jeff Reitman. <laughs> it was good that you sucked it in, though. That was nice. Yeah, you it was like good. That? Yeah, I, I tried. I, I tried to make from it. From this look angle, good. you could really see the conclave of the suck in. <laughs> the it was conclave? Nice. It was conclave. There's no L. 
It's just concave. A conclave is like a, oh. a group of yeah. Women, you're right. Yeah? You're right. A conclave, like yeah. a, a harem right. of witches. A con a conclave. Someone a, just gave me twenty bucks. Con- See, you didn't make shit on your stomach. I just made twenty dig bucks, digi bucks. Yeah. Di- okay. You can have all the digi bucks you want, and you can buy yourself a digi pet. Uh, but uh, con-, con shit. You know conclave. what I've realized? Conclave. When uh, we upload this, we're gonna have to flag it as having nudity now. <laughs> we will. <laughs> But it'll up our hits. We'll get a ton of hits. Oh, did you notice that one person left? left. Right when you, right when you, I want to say when we started, I showed myself naked. Our hits went up. We got a ton of people. We watching. did not get a ton of people. Yeah, we went from like but five we got him back. to twenty-four. I think what happened is my stomach was so awesome that his internet crashed and he had to re-log in. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Casey asked, "Do I only have hair around my belly button? No, my nipples are covered in it." So there. So somebody's asking us what we think of the Evil Dead movies. Okay, this is going to be our last topic. This is our gonna, last topic? Yeah, yeah. We need a better topic than this because, okay. of course, the Evil Dead movies are fucking awesome. This you is read the, the last topics, I'll talk about this. topic. All right, then well, we'll, you come up with a topic then. Okay. And I'll just talk about this while you think. The Evil Dead movies are awesome. Um, I actually, growing up, wanted to name my firstborn son Ash Winston McLaughlin. And then I grew up a little bit. I got a little smarter. Really? And then it became Logan Ash Winston McLaughlin. See, I think that's a shitty name. Ash Winston? Well, Ash is all right. But I think it would have been a much cooler name to call your, like, call your kid Boomstick McLaughlin. Boom, that's just, that's a, that's, Dude, that's, that has a ring to it. Boomstick no, it McLaughlin? Boomstick McLaughlin. You're, uh, People are just going to call him Penis <laughs> it sounds for his like whole a life. porn name, doesn't it? It does sound like a terrible, awful porn name. Yeah. This is the worst suggestion. This is why This is why we're never going to have kids, Jeff. Well, yeah, because we're both male. Well, we could have adopted, but now it's not going to happen. Well, that's I'm not naming my kids something law. stupid like Boomstick when I could name him something clever like Spider-Man. No, that's not his real name. You name him Ash McLaughlin. But well, you Ash call Winston him, McLaughlin. It doesn't matter, but you call no, him... No, you need the Winston. Because boomstick then, around the house. If you just call him Ash, people are going to think it's the guy from Pokemon. Well, just picture this. Pizza guy comes to the door. Mm-hmm. It's like $20. Yeah. And you yell down the hall to your wife, Hey, honey, get me my Boomstick. The pizza guy's here. That pizza guy isn't going to get no money. He's going to walk away. I don't think he'd walk away. He'd be like, what the fuck? Why does he need a a, a dildo? Because he knows you're going to fucking shoot him, when in reality it's just your kid. And you're not lying. I don't I don't think Evil Dead should ever be remade, though. I don't either. I think it, it needs to just stay. It's, it is what good. it is. It's good. I, at most, it might be fun to see a fourth Evil Dead, but it, I wouldn't recommend it. I do want to know, though, has anyone seen Black Dynamite? Because I told people to go see it. I don't know if anyone actually watched it. They better have, because that's the best movie on Earth. <laughs> Laurel did not appreciate it. Really? Your wife didn't like Black no. Dynamite? Why not? Because oh, we were all drunk. She didn't like it because we were drunk. Well, That's you and said. Ryan were punching each other. We were out out front doing the three inch punt or the six inch punch competition. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I have some video of it, but it didn't come out very well. It's all really? just kind of black. Ah, you should have brought the lights outside. We were we were doing it for an hour. <laughs> set up a set on the. Spot. I would have. Uh, I like, didn't know how long you were gonna go. I... I didn't know we were out there for an hour until. I found out that you guys had already ordered a pizza and eaten it and finished watching Black Dynamite. Yeah, we were pretty far in by the time you guys decided to stop. And then you went out to a bar. Oh, we got really drunk. Yeah. We got really drunk. That was kind of unfortunate. Somebody wants us to do an acid podcast. No, I don't think that's going to happen. No. We're probably not going to do a weed podcast. Yeah, we're not going to do a weed podcast either. We just don't want to condone illegal shit. Eh, whatever. I have a, oh, well, I don't. I have a, not on the podcast. I have a, a, a prescription. Yeah. I just got it. I don't. You you know uh, how Ryan long doesn't. you know how long it took me to get my uh, Five minutes. prescription? No, not that. But it was an hour. It was an hour, all things considered. Me filling out the form, and I told them that the reason I needed it was because I have nausea due to the smell of food. And oh apparently my God. That So you worked. basically just walked in there and said, "I'm fat." <laughs> so no, no, that's the opposite. Because I I even had something to say. Oh. If he asked me, it's like, well, if, if, if you get nauseous whenever you smell food, why are you so large? I would have just been like, well, at night I get really high and that's when I can eat. And, <laughs> and it's not, and which is kind of true. <laughs> like, here's like, a funny story. 
Hmm. Do you remember we had a contest during the drunk podcast? We did? Yeah. What was the contest for? I don't remember. But I think I remember now. You guys, if you remember what the contest was, because some of you actually replied, put it in the uh, in the live feed comments, and we'll uh, we'll read your name. But we, we're I had the WonderCon T-shirt, which is sitting around the seat over mm-hmm. there, uh, and we we're gonna give it away. Oh, it was for fan art. Yeah, but uh, I was just like, I really need some kind of way to find it because we had four hours of audio and i'm like i'm not rewatching this whole fucking thing to remember what the podcast we had four hours of audio oh it was four hours yeah dude we were drunk you were drunk i was fine up until the end when you actually spiked my drink yeah when i actually put alcohol <laughs> in your drink so we only got one piece of fan art and i can give it to the guy but it seems a shame that we didn't get more well although i will count uh blimey's entry she did the uh, adam versus sandwich uh fan art that one counts. So we had uh, Michaels uh, with us and uh, not the Wonder Woman one, the most recent Bioshock one that he did. And we had yours. Well, what uh, about this, uh, this guy, uh, Ink with N? He said he drew uh, the Batman and Robin one in the solo, Han Solo and Chewie. Oh, that's, uh, uh, oh yeah, that's Adrian. Mm-hmm. See, I never know people's actual, what names on here associate unless they they pointed out mm-hmm. so blimey is actually i she's mentioned who she is in in like a facebook status uh that's adrian ink with n uh adrian's count too so we have like three or four people so you guys got one more week and then i'll, I'll roll a d6 and decide who wins really a d6 well is there are only six people so far there's only four people well then you should roll a d4 if it lands on five or six i win no you just roll a d4 I don't have a D4. You are so not a nerd. Yes, I actually do. I'll you admit that I have a, a, a D4. There, good. There you go. And Burned by the Furnace, if you're the one that sent over email, uh, I think I saw it, but make sure you send it again or, or call it out again. Uh, that way I won't lose it. What What the hell is... Uh, what's that? Caramel Dancing? Caramel Dancing. I don't know. Caramel dancing. Is that like Tony dancing, but covered in caramel? Because no. I'm down. Who's the boss? That guy is. If Who's, he's covered in caramel. Well, man, whatever. You know what's really stupid? What? We have people on here. I saw Thunder on here. I saw Count Kegzo. We got all these like Euros on here that have to figure out what time it is in their time zone. Mm-hmm. Like when we posted at you know, 3 o'clock our time. And the one person I know for a fact is in our time zone shows up an hour late. You know Who's, who you are. Who is that? Anyway, she'll say in a sec. So um, mm. what, what what do you want to end on? One last uh, question? We should, we should have one one more topic. I, you got to come up with one. You were supposed to be coming up with okay, one. Okay, here's a good one because right. I'm staring at them right now. In the uh, Drunken Podcast, mm-hmm. at the, the last section, hopefully I'll upload it uh, soon. Yeah. Ryan took my Lego Star Destroyer and flies it in front of the camera. Yeah. What's the coolest thing made out of Legos? Well, the coolest or thing... Or the coolest thing you would like to see made out of Legos? Oh, well, those are two really different questions. All right, answer both of them then. Well, I think I think the coolest thing... I, th- I think there's like three answers here. Okay. So number one, the coolest thing that you're supposed to make with Legos, right? Like yeah. you get a kit for it. I'm going to have to say um, it's probably uh, like the giant fucking castle, the giant oh. medieval castle from way back go in the day. The Death Star. The Death Star. The Death Star is really cool, too. Yeah, the, like this big Death yeah. Star. Yeah. My problem with the Death Star is like it's, it's brown. I don't know. Uh, I like the castle. I, I, I'm into medieval crap, right? Um, the coolest thing I have ever made. I don't know. What's the coolest thing you've ever made with Legos? Uh, that Star Destroyer. I really oh, have fun Star making Destroyer. the Star it Destroyer. Cool. It is cool. I made a toilet. A toilet? I made a toilet. I'm really good at making square it houses. It didn't work. It didn't work. I want to point that out. How big was it? Oh, it was a small... It was It was a decent-sized toilet. It took I all mean, the Legos. Like, yeah, was... the, the shitty thing was... <laughs> no pun intended. I got like about halfway, and I ran out of white. And so then it started getting yellow. And then it's just like blue-green, <laughs> blue-green all over the top. So that kind of sucked. Um, I think the best thing to be made out of Legos, yeah. like the best thing that you could make, 
Or the coolest thing. I the coolest say. thing? This is some, I, you know, I'm going to come back with a better answer next week. Yeah. But I would say for right now, I guess the coolest thing that you could make would probably be, um, probably, uh, some kind of furniture. Like if you could have all of your furniture made of an Lego. An entire room of Lego furniture. Mm-hmm. See, uh, what's the tear saran, I think, had the best answer, which is close to what I was going to say, is a what's suit that? of armor made out of Legos. That's kind of cool. I was going to say a life-sized, like, full-on, mm-hmm. 12 foot tall or however it is, horse with medieval armor with a knight made out of Legos sitting on top of it. That would be cool. That would be badass. That would be really cool. It would kind of be cool to have a Lego car. Yeah. Like an actual car that runs, because then if you ever have an accident, you just have to sit down in the middle of the road and start putting your car back together. Oh, and Adrian, Thor, and Loki. You know what question you asked? Thor and Loki. Loki, Thor. Yeah, it'd definitely be Thor. Okay. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, let's read a couple answers, and then we'll leave. So someone said a gun. Uh, that was Joy... Joy High K two two whatever. Yeah, he also uh, said a big dick. <laughs> he also said a big dick in Lego, which is fine. I'm pretty sure most people prefer those made of flesh. Waffle Man said a dildo. A dildo, it's better than a penis. I wouldn't want my penis to be made of Legos. Uh, a dildo, I'd be okay. And XX Joby forty four said a hot girl. Um, if I was gonna get a hot girl that was fake though, I would want some that wasn't so rigid. Yeah, I I want something a little more squishy and harsh. I yes. like squishiness. Uh, anyway, that's us guys. We are gonna log out. We're gonna go record another 15 minutes of terrible games. Yes. What te- what terrible game are we playing uh, this week? I have no idea. Like I always say, it's in the box. I haven't why, even opened it. Why can't you open the friggin' box? But before make I get... sure to email us terrible games at podcast at wackygamer dot com. Or join us on Facebook, facebook.wackygamer.com. And uh, Facebook is the best way to find out when the live podcast is going to be. The time varies here and there. Peace out. Meh, meh, meh.